Hello students, today we are going to study about the first unit that is communication skills. We all know what is communication. So first of all, let us see what is the definition of communication. Communication refers to a process of exchanging facts, ideas, thoughts, beliefs, or opinions between two or more individuals. Communication can be done between two individuals by one-to-one -one communication or by one-to-many communication. One-to-one -one communication can be explained as two friends talking to each other or one-to-many communication means a person who is addressing a whole audience. The process of communication involves transferring information from one party to another. It means that message or any information, opinion, idea should be sent to the second person. It is necessary that a person who is speaking should be able to convey his message in such a way that the person who is listening may understand it correctly. Let us move to the communication cycle. Communication cycle. You can see in this diagram where there is a sender who is sending a message to a receiver. In this, when the sender is sending the message, he is encoding a message. That means he is framing one message and then the receiver is decoding it. That means the message should be in such a way that the receiver should understand it. Next thing is that the receiver has to send the feedback to the sender. If it is not possible, that means the sender will think that the receiver has not received the message. So it is very necessary for a receiver to send the feedback back to the sender. Feedback refers to the response of the receiver to the message of the sender. It is a two-way communication between the receiver and the sender. Now let us see what are the various means for an effective communication. Communication can only be effective when the receiver understands the message as desired by the sender. So now let us talk about the seven C's which are necessary for an effective communication. So first one is clarity. Clarity means the communication should be in a simple language so that the receiver can easily understand the message of the sender. Second one is completeness. The message should contain all the information which is necessary and the sender should answer all the questions asked by the receiver to accomplish the predefined goals. Next one is conciseness. This is applied both to the sender and the receiver where one should avoid wordy expressions and repetitions of words. It should be short and simple to understand. Next one is consideration. While sending the message, either the sender or the receiver who is receiving the message should take into consideration the views, thoughts, background, mindset as well as the educational level of the receiver. Next one is correctness. The message should state accurate facts and figures and the message should be free from grammar, spelling and punctuation errors. It should be kept in mind while sending the message, these things should be taken care. Next one is Curtsy. One should use polite words in the message and should be appreciative, thoughtful and tactful while receiving or sending a message. The last one is concreteness. The message should be specific and to the point. 
इट शुड नॉट बी टू लॉन्ग और नॉट बी टू शॉर्ट इट शुड बी इन एन अंडरस्टैंडेबल लैंग्वेज नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन देर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन एंड नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन there is also a third type of communication which is known as visual communication so we have three types of communication that is verbal communication non verbal communication and visual communication so that's all for this session this will be continued in the next coming video